How many of you know during praise, something breaks? In the spiritual, and that's why the Bible says put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. There's a remedy for your heaviness. Begin to praise. Don't phone a friend. Begin to praise. John 4 verse 23 says, Yet the time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. Which worshipers is God looking for? Spirit and in truth. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, there's no truth. Amen. You can't be led to the truth without the Holy Spirit. You know the Holy Spirit played a role in your salvation. He showed you the truth. He showed you Christ. He showed you the gospel. He made it a reality to you. He knocked on the door of your heart and He said, I want to come in. And the Holy Spirit convicted you of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment when you were still in the world. And He said, come, it's time for you to come in. Is He speaking to you this morning to become the true worshipers that God desires? And I'm closing with this. Are you living with the Holy Spirit? Because living without the Holy Spirit is as dead as a body without breath. 2023, you can't afford to ignore the voice of the Holy Spirit. I believe lives will be saved. Situations will be turned around. Wisdom will come into your life. Things will begin to happen if you listen to the Holy Spirit. Without the Spirit, the body is dead. The body of Christ and this Christian individual will be dead without the Holy Spirit. You see, we can be a religious people that come to church, go to home cell, connect groups, come to worship practice, but we cannot do it without the Holy Spirit. How many of you know this? You need to invite Holy Spirit more into your conversation, more into your life, more into your family, when you make decisions, are you consulting with the counselor, the comforter? Is he counseling you on the truth? Because he'll lead you to the right scripture at the right time, not out of context, but in context. Amen. Come on, the Holy Spirit is there to lead us in God. Without the Spirit of God, we will make excuses. We will have weird deviations in church. Our doctrines will be whack. All things will begin to happen in the wrong direction when the Spirit is not involved. We need to be we need to be full of the Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk on wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't be drunk on the wine of this world. Amen? Fleshly things, but be full of the Spirit of God. As we start with God in 2023, may you pray, may you praise, may you witness, may you preach, and may you be full in your life of the Holy Spirit.